Hello, friends. So I'm glamping and I decided that I am going to make a bustle right here now, because obviously like, look at this place. We have a hand crank sewing machine and it's just gorgeous in here. Hi, Jason. Jason, what is this sewing machine that we have? So this is a Singer. It uh, is a 201K made in Scotland, actually, in a factory that no longer exists. So we're going to be using this hand crank sewing machine to make a bustle. Obviously, I have already been drinking. Hi, Jordan. All right, let's get started. This is old, like real old. Okay, so this is a new fun challenge. Give me a second. Lovely. So this is a new fun challenge because you actually have to hand crank this magical machine. How fun and fabulous is that? I'm very glad that Jason brought this glamping. So what we're going to do is use these giant zip ties. I've already clipped this one and we're going to use this twill tape to encase them so that we can have something to stitch into to connect other pieces of twill tape in a vertical way uh, to make it all work. Who disturbs my slumber? How dare you? Sewing. Drinks. Here's my materials sewing machine, and here is a bustle that Jason has already purchased. Since we are doing Victorian style, obviously. All that lace, all that, mm, everything. This feels more like a single hip bucket to me. I just need to have each of these slightly bigger than the last. We're going to make each a little bit bigger so that it can make this sort of arched shape thing. What I think is interesting about this particular bustle, which is just a cheap one that I got on Amazon, is it has these little side flaps, if you will, that kind of smooth out the boning in the back, make it seem a little bit more seamless and give it some structure underneath. So I used binder clips to make sure that they are the right lengths in kind of a cascading pattern. Cut each of these zip ties. Eh. Perfect. So that's what we're going for. And this is going to be attached to my butt. Magic. Another little drinky drink. Cheers, friends. Ha. People wandering by. Jason tells me that you need to crank this away from away you. Away from you. Does this one have the um, back stitch? It does. Okay. If you lift the lever, okay. that goes to back stitch. Ooh, lovely. Eh. Back stitch. It didn't. Okay. We're good. <gasps> this is so exciting! I actually haven't used this yet, I don't think. No, you haven't. Yeah. This is the first ah, time. This is my first hand crank machine. <gasps> a hand crank has not been added to it. It was always a hand crank. Jason has recently become a connoisseur of vintage sewing machines, which is why we have this one here, and it is fabulous and glorious, and there's the, the case down below. It's gorgeous. We're being interrupted by a magical little hummingbird. Wasn't that just the best? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I got one piece done. Uh, it has the twill tape on the outside of this zip tie. And so I'm making the second one right now. Do I look butch? Butch. I have just whittled down the sides of these giant zip ties so that they're a little rounder, a little smoother, and that'll make it a lot easier to not tear through any of the stuff. Finished three so far. <laughs> Marvelous. And then, just slide that in. Let's do it. Four pieces that are gonna be the structure of the bustle. This big piece of cotton, and then we have all of our twill tape that we're going to lace all of those together with. Ba 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 drinks. Next time maybe we'll do absinthe. Absinthe. Finished on the edges so that they have a little tab on the end. Oh, you can't see that. Well, how? See, it's like a little, little tabby on the end. 
so that you can stitch that onto the rest of the fabric. That is very important because otherwise you'll be stitching through hard plastic or something. Next, I have that piece of fabric right there and I'm going to make a base to stitch all of these onto. And then I'll put webbing in between all of these or maybe I should web them first. I'll web them first. This is the structure that I've come up with. I've clipped everything. We are doing some really good progress here. So you can see here that I have stitched the top and the bottom of each of these intersections. It looks like a fun little Jacob's Ladder. You just need to mount it onto a base piece and then put a waistband on it. Like, that's it. That was surprisingly easy. Jason's doing dishes. I'm doing dishes. Jason's here for the food, really. Okay. Here it is. This is it's basically an apron that goes on your butt, but also Handmaiden's tail. Hey girl. It's a girl Prudence or whatever the names are. I actually haven't seen any of Hadman's tail. I probably shouldn't make fun of it. Let's make a bustle. I'm just going to pinch this up a little bit. So it has a nice little arch there. I have pins if you would like. Yeah, are they in the little in basket? In the sewing basket over here. Here, here, here I'll hand uh, it to you. Uh, uh, that is, ooh, a vintage sewing basket. It just pops off the top. Does it? Yes. Oh. I want to make sure it's relatively even, so I'm just kind of gauging it with my fingers. And remember, if you're doing this on a flat surface, it's going to be on a rounded surface, unless if you have a completely flat butt. When I get the next one going, it's actually going to be only slightly out from the previous one. So basically in line with the first one. And what's wonderful about this is we're pinning it and we're good to test it on our own butt. I'm using the Royal Hour. <laughs> it at the top as well. Bustle! Let's see how it fits onto my derriere. Pin it a little higher in the very center. Crafting with cocktails! Oh, it feels good to take it off. Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Peggy! The bustle is in underneath this fabulous skirt. Here we are. So it begins. All right, friends, so this is how you make and wear a bustle. How you have booty, 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 booty popping everywhere. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Cocktails. If you did, make sure that you follow my channel for more ridiculous stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. <gasps> Wink.